My video for November 2nd, 2017 is entitled Dire Predictions for November 4 through 6. Numerous people have sent me the warning that Antifa, which stands for anti-fascists, is planning anti-Trump ra Trump rallies across the U.S. from November 4 through 6. Apparently, the Department of Defense also plans to conduct a training exercise in the same time window labeled communication inoperability, in which the electrical grid is taken down by a strong EMP, electromagnetic pulse, that will knock out power across the country, even making automobiles useless. Do I believe it? Not really. But I put water in the freezer just in case. <laughs> I also checked one of the sources, and it may be part of a Christian religious right fear-mongering campaign pushing the creation of a tribulation-like event that will challenge people like never before to get right with God. While I know there is a lot of unrest here in America being stirred up by and financed by factions of the cabal, I am still adopting a wait-and-see attitude. We surely live in a time of seemingly unprecedented challenges. How it will play out remains to be seen. Yes, I honestly was hoping that Aristo and I would be making a video today. I didn't even have a blurb prepared or anything like that. I had sent uh, Aristo a message yesterday uh, indicating that I had a desire to make a video with him, but I still, as of this morning, have not had a response, though I uh, put things out a couple of times yesterday, and again this morning I put a message to him, perhaps he's not available at the computer. I don't know what the situation is there, but in any case, uh, I had to scramble to figure out what I was going to be making my video on this morning, and the subject of these predictions uh, is what I decided to uh, focus upon. Now, as I said, I don't believe it, and yet I also took the precaution of putting uh, some water jugs in the, in the freezer to freeze them so that I would have cold water to drink at least for a, a while. Uh, I don't like drinking room temperature water, as I probably have said in other videos. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Folks, you know, I, I refuse to buy into uh, some of the things that are, that are being said. I don't want to believe that things are going to get so terrible and tribulation-like here in the United States. Uh, people say, you know, the tribulation has to come here because this is supposedly part of Israel, according to some people's belief. The United States and Great Britain are part of the uh, uh, part of that whole scenario, and I was I've been trained in all of these things. I've studied all of these things. I also had a very nice lady, a very nice letter from a lady, telling me to turn back to God. Uh, I don't remember. I, I didn't read it to the, again this morning. I need to respond to it yet, though. It's something that I have to do today, uh, but. She suggested that uh, that I try her her church. That she found great peace in her church, and I'm not even sure what church that is. Uh, but religion, to me, is not going to to be the answer. I mean, we've had religion and people claiming that theirs is the right one and the the true church and and the true this and the true that. What is truth anymore? I I thought all my life that I knew. I thought that God was going to, to finally take responsibility for creation and send uh, through a redemptive act, a second coming of Christ. Uh, some suggest that there was not even a first coming of Christ, that that was totally fabricated and made up, that the whole Judeo-Christian, Muslim, uh, religious ideas that have been promulgated for the last who knows how long there's even debate as to how long it's been going on some say it's only been 
you know, a, maybe a millennia or 1500 years or something like that, and some even say less than that. What is the truth? You know, we can buy into the dire predictions, we can buy into the fanaticism uh, that certainly is going on in our world in the political and the religious uh, camps. But the truth remains that we don't know. We don't know how things are unfolding. It does seem that certain things are happening that uh, are creating greater unrest and, of course, pissing off a lot of people that have been part of the establishment for a long time. And they would like nothing better than to create mayhem and chaos. And I think the Antifa uh, stuff, the rallies, the anti-Trump rallies that are going on are certainly being stirred up by less than honorable people, including the Soros's, if they're still alive. Some people say Soros is dead. Some people say that Clint, both Clintons are dead. Uh, I probably mentioned that in the previous video, even, possibly even the last one. I don't know, though, what's going on. Now, and so far as Aristo goes, he was not saying, can we make another video? But he was commenting a couple of days ago on some of my videos. And that might have been an indication of, are you going to invite me to do a video? Uh, I know he, he goes and visits uh, family and he doesn't have internet access. And that happens, you know, on a regular basis. And so this may be one of those windows where he simply is not available. Uh, and I don't know when he is available. That's, see, that's the problem. I don't have a way of calling him on the phone or even contacting him any way except through Facebook. Facebook is the only communication link that I have with Aristo. I have no other method of communicating with him, not Skype, not Zoom, not any of the other communication methods that I use to, to communicate with people. Him, uh, with, with Aristo, the only way that I can actually contact him is through Facebook. Now, of course, we create our videos on Zoom, but we don't communicate uh, directly on Zoom. Everything is set up on Facebook. So if Facebook and, and YouTube were taken down, my whole network uh, goes with it. But so does the spy network of uh, the cabal. Uh, they have to take the whole thing down or block me out for some reason. And some of my friends have said that they've been blocked out. So, you know, again, people make all sorts of predictions and have all sorts of explanations as to why things are the way they are and how things are going to play out in the way that they'd like to see them play out for their particular agenda. I don't have an agenda other than for a reconciliation, if you will, of all of the nonsense that has been going on on planet Earth for as long as any of us can remember in, in recent recorded history. And history is a story told by those who, who write the textbooks and who plan the, plan the agendas. They're not decent, loving, good people. By far and large, it has been a demonically inspired uh, agenda that does not create peace on earth and continues to rob people of our natural inheritance as human beings. We are all wealthy beyond measure, but we don't know it. We're impoverished in our attitude and in our mindset and in our spirits, and that is part of an agenda. How it's, again, how it's going to play out, I wish I could tell you. I wish I knew, but I don't turn into those people who claim to know because that's who you want to listen to. You want to listen to somebody that claims to have inside knowledge. I don't have such inside knowledge. So that is what it is. And I am where I am and you are where you are. And it's going to play out the way it's going to play out. And we're going to be observers and who knows how much we're going to be able to be actual participants. Thank you for listening. Namaste.